Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video on Bitcoin. Pretty important update in my eyes. Uh, as you can see, Bitcoin right now is struggling quite a bit. So we'll talk about that, um, uh, why that's happening and if there's any hope or if uh, this is just going to be the crash. Uh, that we're going to drop down to 27,000 and then down to 25,000. We'll talk about that, but altogether there's also some uh, some economic numbers coming out later today uh, and in, in about 20 minutes we'll have the inflation rate uh, for, for the EU but that usually does not make the market move that much. Um, what does make the market move is the PCE price index. Um, that's, uh, that's kind of seen as the inflation rate for the Federal Reserve. Uh, and who sets the interest rates? Well, the Federal Reserve. So this is important. That's in about four hours from now. If you want to uh, know uh, at what exact time it is from uh, the time you're watching this, go to myfxbook.com and then check out the economic calendar up here. Um, but now onto uh, onto Bitcoin. So yeah, so like I said, we were struggling earlier today. This was this happened like two three hours ago, I think. Found support at this major support between 27,000 and uh, 27,000 or 27,700 and 27,500. Um, and, and that is where we are right now, major support. And uh, altogether for now, I think we will be able to hold that. Um, and before I forget, I do want to say that if you want to receive daily trading signals on Bitcoin, but also on different cryptos, then check out the links down in the description. And there you can also see results, profitability so far. If you're interested in that, uh, we've made like 40% uh, profit on total capital in the last in the last one and a half months. All right, but now uh, further with Bitcoin. So I actually do think this level will hold. I mean, first of all, technically it's very strong. It has the 618 FIP, 50 EMA, strong normal technical level. But apart from that, one of the main causes why we are getting bearish momentum right now is that the dollar strength index is very strong. Now, guess what? That's nearing resistance around 102.5 and definitely up to 102.75. There's a lot of resistance. Why is the dollar strength index bullish? The euro against the dollar is bearish. Uh, so the euro is getting weaker. That's why the dollar strength goes up. Uh, guess what? That's also nearing support. Um, so unless I miss something and there's some sort of a banking crisis going on, which I don't think because then you'll see a, a move like this. Um, I just think, excuse me, that was my phone. Hopefully you did not hear that. Um, but that's why I think we can actually hold that. Now, I do not think we're going to get a bullish breakout. I think the, the, the remainder of today and the remainder of the Bitcoin moves today will be decided by the PCE price index and the results of that. Where lower than expected is good, higher than expected is bad. I actually do expect lower than expected right now uh, because of some uh, previous economic results. And that's why I think we will be able to today um, at least get back up to 28,500, 28,700. So there's a minor chance we'll be able to get a, get to our next highs around 29,500, but I I very much doubt it. So um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait for, for the results. I mean, if it's higher than expected, uh, we're probably going to drop down at least down to 27,000 and there is a chance that we'll have a bearish breakout. But before that, I think we'll just stay on top of 27,700 and consolidate uh, kind of around 27,700 and um, 28,250 at the maximum. Um, not expecting a lot of volatility. I am expecting a lot of volatility depending on the economic results. So I'll keep you updated on that, of course. But um, for now, this is my uh, this is my take on Bitcoin. So if you still have any questions, then obviously let me know. Uh, but for now, take care. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and bye.